Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Hey, protect your investments, all of your investments, just like the title says. There's some of them are very wise investments. Vehicles, cars are not wise investments, but they are necessary nonetheless. So are uh, equipment and tractors such as this. I just received delivery of this just a few hours ago. And before I put the first hour on this machine, I'm going to protect it every square inch of it. First, we're going to prep. Prep isn't as involved as a car. A car's finish is a little bit more finicky, a lot thinner, and you look for a little bit more uh, perfection out of a car. A piece of machine, you just need to prep and make sure there's nothing that will hinder the bond between your protectant or the coating in this case and the surface of that piece of machinery. We protect a lot of things at Apex Detail. We protect bobcats, front end loaders, farm equipment, industrial equipment. We even protected a sign from uh, a local Sunoco right across the street. And it's still holding up. So if you have something you want protected, if you have an investment or something you want to last, get a hold of us and we will protect it and preserve it for you. This here is a panel prep, and for a brand new vehicle, this is the way to go. Again, just to make sure we have nothing that stands between the bond of the coating of choice, uh, which is going to be our metal oxide coating. Uh, we also have the choice of a more industrial grade coating, which I'll show you in another video when we, we have a Bobcat coming up. Uh, so I'll break that out and show you. Uh, it's a little bit more involved because that one's a used piece of equipment. And normally they got a lot of oxidation sitting out in the sun and in the weather. They're weathered and uh, need a little bit of correction. Not often we do correction on uh, a piece of machinery, but um, it has been uh, accomplished here at the shop. So just like uh, any other coating, pick a small area, apply to it. Um, in this case, with our coating, we have about a minute and a half before we have to go back and start wiping it off. So I'm going to apply, uh, start to apply the coating around the machine machinery until a minute and a half goes by. And then we'll grab a microfiber and wipe it off and move on. By the way, if you listen carefully, you'll probably hear the remnants of a hurricane that's blowing through uh, Eastern PA here. Uh, other than that, it would have been a peaceful, quiet evening. We're going to protect every square inch, and that includes all of the plastics and the C2. Depending on what type of material it's made of, normally a plastic, uh, maybe sometimes a leather, or the combination of both, they will get coated as well. Why coat something like this? Well, like anything else, they are susceptible to UVA, UVB, and IR damage. Um, chemical resistance is also important, um, keeping them clean, having them stay cleaner longer. On a mower, I will also coat, and you'll see this a little bit later on in the video, I'll coat the deck and the chute so the grass, especially when it gets wet, can't stick to the sides as easy, easily and exits the chute and the deck and keeps it clear. We also coat and protect plows, plows of all sizes and plows that fit on all types of vehicle. They are around salt all through the winter and you want to protect it from rust and also have the snow fall right off of the plow as you throw it in reverse and go for uh, another pass. We also coat bobcats, front end loaders, all types of machinery. Again, they sit outside a lot. They're uh, taking whatever Mother Nature can dish up, uh, also the sun's rays, and uh, coating the buckets will make whatever they scoop up fall right back out a lot easier and make it easier to clean most of the time with just a pressure washer. And yes, we're going to coat the wheels as well.
And as I mentioned earlier, I will coat the chute and the underbelly of the deck. And that's it. All you have to do now is sit back, relax, and let it cure. Our coating, and all coatings are a little bit different, uh, four hours of cure time. Top it and then get to work or send it on its way. Okay, four hours goes by, we come back and grab the topper. In this case, it's, it's going to be bead because I'm not worried about water spots with this type of equipment. And I really do love the characteristics of this product when it comes to gloss and overall slickness. So we're going to spray onto damp microfiber, spread out uh, throughout the piece of equipment, and follow up with a dry microfiber. And just repeat this process all the way around the machinery that you want to protect. When this process is done, don't wash it. You can rinse it off, but don't wash it for the next week. And maintain with either bead or sheet or whatever topper. It doesn't matter what coating or topper you're using. I just believe it's important to protect your investment and maintain it properly afterwards, along with all the mechanical maintenance that uh, needs to be done. Filters and changing oil and all of that stuff. That's it. Job's complete. All you have to do is maintain it. It looks fantastic on top of being protected. Uh, being OCD about everything, well, that's going to include my lawnmower. So I'm happy now, and I can move on with my evening. If you guys want to do this for yourself or have us do it, get in contact with us or stop by. Brian from Apex Detail, I really appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll catch you in the next video.